Hey guys, JTales here with the Wildlands main quest 3-1. So this quest is called the Angel of Valhalla, and let me just show you on the map. I literally just got to the Wildlands, so you can go through, through the game with me, because I know some people have expressed that the Wildlands is a bit scary. So basically they tell you to check out Canopus Farm, so that's where we're going, from the station. And you can follow along in, in your game as well. I'm just going to avoid every fight I can. Uh, we got some chaos over here. And some soul seeds. Alright, cool. So you just pretty much want to follow this path straight to the first town you get to. And that'll be Canopus Farm. Whoa. They're totally... Oh my god. The fence. <laughs> Alright, but since I'm on easy for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to escape and keep going. Keep it moving along. No problem. So you want to keep following this path. Whether you want to fight enemies or not, it's up to you. And you'll see this sign right here. Which uh, tells you to the left, it's Canopus Farm. So you want just want to come down here. Uh, Behemoth chasing me, that's fine. And there's the doctor right here who you have to speak to. So just to show you again on the map, right here, Canopus Farm, right in the middle from the station. So yeah, I know Wildlands is a huge place. I really don't like it, but it is what it is. So you talk to this gentleman right here. Well, I don't know. I heard you know things. The encounter is and he he's he's weird. He will always point at you and tell you to uh, go away. So basically, he gives you a lead on a temple, and I'm just gonna very quickly show you where that is now on the map too. You're gonna want to come over here to the city of ruins, to this temple. So you're gonna leave Canopus Farm, and where's the exit? That temple appeared here from the other world. From Valhalla, and you can buy some cool stuff from the outfitters and whatever else you need. Oh, I already have everything. Alright. And... Here we go. Here's the exit. Alright, so you want to just pretty much keep going east from here. Until you reach that little um, opening on the side. And once again, I'm just going to avoid battles. But just so we know where we're going, down that path to the City of Ruins. For a while, it was the center of all human culture. It appears the ruins here are all that remain of that time. And Hope just never stops talking, so that's fine. By the state of them, it ended a long time ago. So you'll see some people on chocobos. That's how you know you can um, actually talk to the, this guy. And he'll tell you about to watch out for a chocobo eater. But you can actually just follow this path right here. Beneath the temple of the goddess. What do you think? I hope that I'm wrong about this. But I'd say that the force behind the world's destruction might be buried somewhere in that temple. The unseen chaos. I came into contact And you can pretty much outrun behemoths as long as you keep running. And here we go. So you're going to see this big monster um, next to this chocobo. So just attack it and try and uh, defeat it. And now chocobo eater can be pretty tough if you're not prepared. So what you want to do is try your best to perfect shield his attacks. Because that's how you stagger him. And then once you stagger him you use your strongest physical moves. And he is susceptible to deprotect once you stagger him, so be sure to remember that as well. And yeah, the first time I actually didn't have too much trouble, but um, I had already beaten Noel and Snow. So if you haven't done this yet, he might be a little tough for you. And I'm going to skip the cutscenes just so that you can enjoy them in your game. And... Now we are just to get back to the town. Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo to me. Right, to me too. But the thing is, when I first And once again, you can pretty much avoid most of the battles if you want. But um I didn't fight 
any behemoths my first time around because they were way too powerful for me but uh this is my second playthrough so now they're a bit more possible to beat but um i would suggest not fighting any behemoths to save all your ep and your healing items for the chocobo eater so now we're going back right back to canopus farm And we're pretty much going to finish up our main quest here. Ah, and it feels good to be out of the wild. Alright, so everyone is caring for the chocobo. And it plays another little cutscene here. And apparently the chocobo only likes lightning. Nobody else. So... Let's just see here, and we're done. That's 3-1, so if you're having trouble with 3-2, please check out my next video, and I really hope this helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching. Later.